In this video, we're going to look at array lists versus linked lists in terms of deletion. And the first data structure that we're going to look at is the array list. And I have an array list charted out here with an 8, 6, 7, 5, 3 inside of it, and the index indicated below. We're going to look at the array list in terms of three operations, removing the last item, the first item, and removing an item anywhere inside of the array list. So if I want to remove the last item from an array list, it is going to have a big O of 1, or constant time. The reason being is, no matter the size of the array list, it is going to take the same amount of time to remove the last item from it. If we're going to remove the first item in an array list, it is going to be a different story. The actual removal of the first item would have a big O of 1, or constant time. But after the item is removed from the array list, the void has to be filled in order for the indexing to be correct. And one way to do that is take the data and shift it left 1. That shifting of the data or manipulating the data is going to give the operation of removing the first item from the array list a big O of n, n being the size of the array list. Removing an item anywhere inside of the list is going to be similar to removing the first item of an array list. So if we're going to remove an item from the second index inside of the array list, the 7 there, if all we had to do is remove it, it would have a big O of 1 or constant time. But we have to fill the void, and that is going to give it a big O of N because of the shifting that has to go on. There will not always have to be N shifts inside of the array list, but that's just an average, and that's where we get a big O of N from. An array list does best when it's removing the last item. But removing the first item or any item other than the last item, it has to perform some kind of shift or rearrange the data in some way, and therefore it has a big O of N. If we look at the linked list data structure, it is not set in a contiguous block of memory, and therefore is not going to have the same problems as the array list does. If we're going to remove the first item from a linked list, it is going to have a big O of constant time, or 1. And the reason for that is no shifting has to occur. All that has to happen are the memory references are going to point to a different spot and the head node is going to be pointing to a different node inside of the list. No matter what the size of the list is, that's going to take constant time. The same can be said for removing an item from the end of the list. It also is going to have a big O of 1 or constant time because there is no shifting of the data or manipulating of the data. All that has to happen is its pointers are going to be changed and the tail is no longer going to be pointing to the node that is removed but rather the new tail of the linked list. Before we look at removing an item anywhere from the list, I'm going to reset the list. Now, let's say that I randomly choose to remove the second item from the list. Removing the node itself would take constant time, but I first have to search through the list and find the node starting with the head. And because I have to search through the list, that's going to take an average of n time or have a big O of n, n being the size of the list. So once the node is found, then I can remove the node from the linked list. So a linked list has a big O of 1 for removing the first and last item in the list, but has a big O of N for removing any other item inside of the list. What I've done next is shown the array list and linked list in this table in order to directly compare the big O of each. And we're comparing the three functions that we just looked at, removing first, removing last, and removing anywhere. Removing anywhere has the same big O of n. Also, removing last has the same big O of constant time, or 1. The big difference in terms of removal of the first node is a linked list has a big O of constant time, and an array list has a big O of n. The linked list would be superior in this particular circumstance. So if you have a data structure that you need to remove an item from the front of, like a queue, a linked list would be the better option. 